Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 19 of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, uh, we got like two more levels left to do in Dreamweavers. One is the flying level, Icy Flight, and the other one is the boss level, Jacques. We're really burning the midnight oil, like I said before, how close we are to finishing this game. And it's actually going very well, like, not 30 parts or anything. Alright, so this one involves, like, lighthouses. Whoop! Shit, forgot that one. Well, it's very easy to lose control if you're going so fast. Oh, that's gonna cost me some time. But at least it'll allow me to collect my bearings again. I'm lost. It's my footing again. That ain't good for anything. Oh, there's a train. This should make Sheldon Cooper very upset. And then again, I don't really enjoy Big Bang Theory that much. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> what I do enjoy is destroying copters. And I missed one. Or Helenorks, rather. Hopefully I'm going the right way for this. Uh-oh, I got very little time. So every Helenork is gonna count, oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna keep missing that one. Yeah, I didn't make it, all because of those small amounts of screw-ups. They add up over time. In a big way. Guess I bazinga my way to that failure. <laughs> Alright, so let's try this again. This one's actually not hard. Given it's very late in the game, it's simple compared to the last one. Given that it's very easy to screw up, however, it ain't too bad. Whoa. Remember, there's three Helenorks in this area. Oh, I'd like to get that train. Good. And five over here. Good. Okay, I say I got plenty of time to finish this. the last one over here. Done! Perfect! It only took two tries. Jeez, I had a ton of time to spare. 1 minute 16.55. <laughs> Not bad at all. And now my gems is at 10,000! Wow! That's incredible. All right, now let's head back. Oh, hi to you too. You die. If I remember correctly, getting to whoa, 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 whoa. He makes such derpy noises. But the way to Jacques is somewhere around here. Yes. Okay, time for our fifth boss level. It's a very weird name, Jacques. I mean, look at the other names we had, like Blowhard, Metalhead, Dr. Shemp, Jacques, Bonjour, Spelro, Comment ça va? Yep, that's metal. What the hell are you doing with a flower? Are they really trying to make Jacques look like an absolute pansy? If so, given that that enemy has, like, a flower, mission accomplished. Okay, 
Okay, some of these enemies you actually have to destroy to uh, free up the clocks. And this I, I didn't want to get too close. Otherwise, I would have just fallen to that lava. Which would only hurt you, I believe. Okay, I'm just going to keep exploring the environs around here. What do I need to find? 500 gems and two dragons! Oh, this boss level actually has two dragons instead of one. That's a first. Hey, come back! Do these... Okay, they do have eyes, but they're very, very small compared to the rest of the face. There's a chest with that needs a key. Okay. I gotta th think about where I'm gonna find the key. I think it might be on the left side of the map rather than the right side. Fair enough, I'll just turn around. I know, it's backtracking, however. I would like to get everything quicker. <sighs> Damn it. All because the camera is messed up, I had to do this entire thing again. There, that's better. Beautiful. That's one way of using your head. Hmm, is there a way down there? Oh, never mind. I wanted to explore the rest of this place. Okay, I see some platforms with gems. Yeah, I screwed that up. I jumped way too soon. Now I gotta do all this again. Didn't even make a lot of progress, actually. In terms of distance. At least I got that extra life back. Nope, can't get up there that way. Maybe I'll have to jump off this platform. Oh, come on, game! Couldn't even give me that. Now I gotta do this again! Maybe doing it this way is just a bad idea, but I'm gonna give it one more shot. Because I was very close last time. I think they would have just given you an extra platform to work with. But nope! Oh, good, an extra life. No, no, ah, oh, it was too far out. <sighs> Fine. I guess we're gonna go back to the right side. So I bet you it is possible to do, but you had to be near perfect. It's a Kaizo on crack. Let's see, what are that? What did that guy do? Oh! That guy on the right did something to the platform on the left! So I will go back to the left side. Now that I have a better understanding of how this works. I can go over that way if I wanted to. You know what? I will! Unika! Thank you for releasing me! Which, with very non Unika dialogue. <sighs> okay, and then I'm just gonna scale this area. I don't even know why I did that. Hmm, enemies over there and some gems. Okay, he just creates a little ridge for me. So I guess I gotta do this one at a time. Perfect! And that's how that went down! I 
cameras! Thank you. Okay, I need to replenish my lives. That's all the gems in this area. Good. I still gotta find that key. It'll be almost anywhere. And probably in a very difficult to reach area. Did I screw this up? Oh my god, wow, really? That's a screw up? But I was so near the edge. <laughs> There's like little to no room for error sometimes in this game. Let's try this one more time. Man, some of these jumps just barely make it. Let's see what happens if we go in this direction. Oh, it just sends us directly backwards. Oh, I almost botched that one. Go back here. Uh, ooh, I was barely missing it. Uh, what if I can use that same platform to get up there? Should be able to. Let's give it the old college try. Remember, I'm going through this level mostly blind, so if it's because I'm doing this level pretty slowly, that's why. Apparently even that's not a good, ex good enough excuse for some people. But I'm not here to please every single person. It's impossible. Uh, let's see, should I flame these two right now? Yes. Wow, I got them both at the same time. And there's the key. Both at the same time in itself is actually quite impressive. You know, this kind of looks like a rotating wedding cake. Oh, come on! God, this game is just so... Specific... Oh my god, I don't even know why I turned around. I was thinking I'm not going to make it. Well, I'm definitely not going to make it now. I mean, look at this. I mean, some of these jumps, they require you to be even better than perfect. I want to keep exploring the left side even further, because I feel like I'm missing a couple things. Remember, I don't want to go through all this and then have to turn around anyway. Like around here is where I want to go. There, that's better. Okay, so far so good. Wait, is that another chest? Hmm, did this level actually have two treasure chests? So, that's an interesting way to do things. Or maybe the paths are being conjoined. Wouldn't put it past this game to do it like that. Hmm. A lot of gems here. Wait a minute. That's our joint! So this means I could have done this a better way. But let me double check to be sure. Yeah, these enemies are only just giving me beads. Well, I need the beads more than some broad in Mardi Gras, so... Give them to me. Hey, you die now. Can't forget about those gems in case behind some stairs. And 
there's our last dragon! Good. Dragons also mean checkpoints for when I die. Revillo! Any advice before this battle? Advice. Hmm. A wise dragon once told me, aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Huh? Um... What kind of life did you live that you were having boxes thrown at you on a daily basis? Were you and Crash Bandicoot roommates? Well, it says aim high, so that must mean like hitting the boss in the head. And then watch out for the flying boxes that Jacques likes to throw at you. He likes to get away from you from time to time. I mean, look at him. He just keeps moving. Uh, there's actually no gems around here. This little stretch is devoid of treasure. I find that very weird. Hmm. Man, I gotta give pursuit. Oh! The box actually hit me. He's dead already? Huh. That was a bit weird for the boss to end like that. Alright, let's go. Ooh, even more gems. I have 425, and those were 75 right there. So, we should be done. Yep, we got everything in this world all together. Alright. We're almost done with the game. I got five worlds completely eviscerated of treasure. So now let's look for the balloonist. So we can get out of here. Balloonist, uh, yep, that's him right over there. Hi, Imus. We're gonna go to Nasty's world now. Okay, this could have gotten a whole lot better with all those missed jumps. Okay, here we go. Hmm, you know what? We might as well just do a part of this world right now. Because you know what? This is going to be pretty short. Okay, ne Nork Nexus has 200 gems and two dragons. Whoa. There's Nork Cove. Jeez, some of the levels are just leaning right in front of you. It doesn't look like I'll be able to do all of them right now, or get all the gems right now. So I practically had to do my exploring right away. Eh, might as well save this dragon. Delbin, I saved you again? Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon who must defeat him. Bring him on! I'm ready! Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Hmm, so, in other words, I have to do all these levels so I can activate these other levels. And once I activate the other levels, I should be able to get more gems. Hmm, that makes sense. So I'm gonna stop the video right here, and then in the next part, let's go to Nork Cove. See ya, everybody. Thanks for watching.